In our previous example, we looked at how to find the sums of squares for between, within and total for this example. If you haven't watched that video yet, you need to do that first. Next to our table with our example, we have our SST, SSB and SSW as calculated in the previous video. Those are our sums of squares, so they go in this first column. SSB, which is 84.636 is our sums of squares between and that means our sums of squares between the levels of the factor so in this case it's between the groups our sums of squares within we calculated with what was left over and our sums of squares total is where we started and that was 97.636 Our next column is our degrees of freedom column. For the degrees of freedom between, we need to take the number of levels, so in this case the number of groups, which is 3, and minus 1. So our degrees of freedom for our between is 2. Our degrees of freedom for our within is the total number of data in the question so in this one it is 11 and we subtract the total number of levels so the number of groups in this one is 3 so our degrees of freedom is 8 so our total should be 2 add 8 which is 10 but if I want to just double check I've got those right it should also be n minus 1 and we know from our data that n is 11 and 11 minus 1 is 10. So there's just a bit of clarity there that we've got the correct values. Our ms column is our mean squared column. And for this one, I'm going to do my sums of squares value divided by my degrees of freedom. So 84.636 divided by 2. I'm just going along that column. I'm going to use my calculator, 84.636 divided by 2. Equals, and I want that as a decimal please, 42.318. I then do the same for my within row. And I do the sums of squares 13 divided by the degrees of freedom, which was 8. And again, I want that as a decimal, 1.625. And so for my F value, which is my test statistic in my hypothesis test, I am going to do the between MS. Divided by the within MS. And that gives me 26.042. And that is a quick example of how to fill in an ANOVA table for a one-factor ANOVA hypothesis.